uh this is as a recording this is 2 44 in the morning uh making a video just before i go to bed well high tide i i didn't really know what else to talk about so i decided and i i tried to make at least two videos a day so anyways we'll talk about high tides earnings uh it is not next week but it is on september 14th on a tuesday i believe after the market close, yes, is after the market closes, so that's on Tuesday. Uh, so next week, you have your decision to make. You know, you know to either buy it, hoping that the earnings will be good, or you can gamble and, you know, or you can just hold long term and hope for a dip and buy some more. Or you can do nothing and just hold your stock and wait for the earnings. I don't know what your plan. I don't know what your strategy is, but just say, I'm just saying that this is a possibility. Not saying it will happen. That high tide stock could run up before the earnings report. After the earnings report, it will dump. Like in the past, almost every single earnings report, the stock would run up. And then on the earnings day, it would crash and it would keep going down. It's been like this for the past two or three earnings report. And this one could be the same thing. Unless the earnings were so amazing that the stock will pump even further. I don't know at the end of the day. But I'm betting that high tide will be profitable this next earnings report. One thing I'm a little disappointed in is they won't be doing a webcast. Instead, you will have to phone in and and join the conference call. So I wish there was a webcast. I think the company plan is not to publicly displace the quarterly earnings report. Instead, they are planning to delete them probably for safety purposes just in case you know the stock tanks and you know people go back or oh, they say something that doesn't happen and they get sued for it or something like that I don't know at the end of the day I don't know why they don't have a web conference and uh you know have all investors you know at their own convenience listen or just you know, I, I don't understand why they don't do that. They did it once, but they, they, they stopped doing it. Don't know why, but it is what it is. It sucks, but that's the reality of it. That's the reality of high tide stock. Can't control what management wants to do. I was hoping for a webcast. They didn't do it. Oh, well, it is what it is. The, the the replay is only available for one week after the earnings report. Yeah, so after on September twenty second, twenty one, if you didn't listen, you won't be able to listen anymore. I did listen to the last earnings report. I can't remember what they said, but it was positive. It was like saying, Oh, we continue to be a leader, we continue to grow, blah blah blah. You know, we're a profitable company, stuff like that, all positive. But I wish I, I I listened to it, but I just don't like I didn't hear anything that was super interesting. So you know, that's that's what it is. It is what it is. Anyways, uh, high tide stock right now is trading at nine dollars and fifty six cents. Um, the market just before the market closed, it got a little pump. Will this pump continue or will it just kind of floating si float sideways for the rest of the week? I don't know. But the people that move the stocks are big money, in my opinion. Because if you're a retail investor, you try to buy as low as possible. Especially if you believe in long term. Why would you buy it when it keeps going up? It makes no sense unless you are a trader or a day trader. But if you're a long term investor, you try to buy as low as possible, you try to hold long term. And you believe that the company will continue to execute and you believe that you will get rewarded. So if the stock goes to like ten dollars, eleven dollars, 
twelve dollars, thirteen dollars, unless you're a trader. Uh, you know who's pushing the stock price up? You know, it has to be big money. It has to be institutions. It has to be billionaires. It has to be, you know, multi millionaires. Somebody has to be on the receiving side to push up the stock. Just saying, right? Stocks go up when people buy. No one buys, it doesn't go up. People sell and short it, it goes down. Just, that's the logic of the stock market. So let's quickly look at the last earnings report. Um, their total revenue. Yes, and I am a shareholder of High Tide. The last earnings report, you know, uh, pretty good cash on the balance sheet of $29 million. I could be wrong on this, but I believe that they raised some money uh, you know, during the quarter. I could totally be wrong on this. I, I'm, I could totally be wrong, so don't vote me on that. And they also cleared up some debt uh, from Meta acquisition. So um, cleaning up the balance sheet. Uh, they have good decent amount of cash on hand. They have a lot of stores. They are a profitable company. Last quarter, they generated forty million dollars or forty-one million dollars. The gross profit was fifteen. Uh, if you take away the the uh share based compensation and the depreciate depreciation and monetization, which is tax write off purposes. They were profitable about four million dollars. About four million dollars, four or five million dollars. That's pretty good. Think about TAT. They don't even make one million dollars of revenue and they they hit a market cap of over five hundred million dollars at one point. So it is what it is. We'll see what uh see where a high tide stock will go in the future. But uh now, I think they're a continually growing business, and I think uh, if the United States ever become fully legal, I think High Tide will take full advantage of that. So, we'll see what the future lies, but, uh, you know, some people really believe in this company. I believe because I'm a shareholder. I'm going to hold long term on this, but uh, holding long term is also very dangerous. Why would the stock market crashes, right? Lose money. Anyways, uh, that's all for my video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Oh wait, that's right. What is my prediction? Well, I mean, Ontario did open up, right? For the like June and July, so it was. This is for ending in July. And uh, I'm thinking earnings is going to be, you know, slightly higher than 41 million, maybe about 45 million. That's just a guess. I don't know at the end of the day. So, and I'm I'm 90% positive they'll be profitable. It will continue to be profitable quarter after quarter after quarter. I think that's the CEO's plan. Uh, they're at a stage where they don't need to be not profitable to grow. They can grow and be profitable. And that's what you want to see in a business, to be a, a profitable and a growth beast at the same time. Uh, so we'll see what happens in the, this earnings, but I'm positive they'll be profitable. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.